Hello developers. Today we are going to build a kit called the basics of Python, which will help boost your Python learning journey. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of the basic concepts of Python, which you can then use while programming in Python for your projects. Python is the most used programming language in developing most use cases nowadays. Python can do almost anything any other language can do at comparable speeds. This kit has some simple to use exercises in Python to help someone new to learn how to program in Python and get started with their journey. In this video, we will cover a few code snippet exercises on displaying output on to the screen, taking input from the user and the use of if else statements in Python language. And finally, build a simple calculator application. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. So what is a Candy Kit? Candy one-click install kits gives you a ready-to-deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready-to-use Candy Kits on AI, augmented reality, gaming, blockchain, and many more on Candy. Today, we'll be using a popular Candy Kit on Basics of Python one-click install kit. This kit is open source with a permissive license. That means you can freely edit, customize, and share your own solution. So let's get started. Over to you, Pooja, for the hands-on walkthrough. Hello. Hope you all are excited to build your own Python program. To start your Python journey using the basics of Python kit, you will need the following. An understanding of a high-level language like English, basic understanding of OOPS concepts, an integrated development environment that you can use to write your code, interpret it, and a debugger to help you solve your issues. To help you start your programming journey, all this is already available in the Candy Kit. Let's start by installing the Candy Kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisites and resources you can download the installer here and you can follow the instructions here to set up the kit. You can now pause this video, complete the installation once ready, hit resume and we'll jump right into building your Python programs. A Jupyter Notebook will open in front of you. It has a program in Python for a simple calculator. But before we go ahead and understand how you can build this calculator, let's discuss some simple concepts and how you can work around with these simple concepts using code snippet exercises. So for that, I will open a fresh Jupyter Notebook. And also take help from candy.openweaver.com, which helps you develop functions faster. So I will search for a simple function in Python so that I can print text to the screen. So I will put the keyword as print text in Python and go ahead and make the search. So I'll try to go ahead and see the simplest of the snippet that will be helpful in printing my text. So I see this one as a simple one. I'll go ahead and copy paste this one into my IDE and then control and enter. So I see that this has simply printed whatever is present in the inverted commas within the function. So I can tinker with it, change it as per my requirement. Now, similarly, I will take and go ahead and search for a function that will help me take input from user. Take input from user. I will look for the results that are being showcased. So I see again, I find an interesting code snippet. I'll copy this, paste it into my Jupyter Notebook. You can use an IDE of your choice and then just simply try and run this. So I can see that I'm able to work around with an input uh, function, which is an inbuilt function in Python and enter any text within the function and say yes or no. So supposedly I want to ask 
some other question here. Let's say I just change the text here to Are you learning Python for the first time? And I read on the cell. I will be able to see that I am able to get a query or I can actually put forward whatever I want to ask the user to input here. So I can say yes. And let's also understand another interesting query or a search that I would like to do is for if else statements in Python. Let's say I'll choose one of these. I'll copy it and paste it into my Jupyter notebook. And within the notebook, I'll just check the code for correctness. Say this is my input function, which is uh, asking me what is your gamer name? And it is saving it in a variable called name here. And there is a list of noob, average, pro, and expert, which is saved under random underscore choice. So further, I see. I am actually taking out some random choices and saving it under gamer underscore kind. So the, here I am printing whatever is here in this variable uh, based on the user input. And then there is a random uh, choice from the list here. And then I am printing gamer. And then there is a if condition on this gamer kind. If that is equal equal to no, then it is printing. I am afraid there is nothing to be done. Else it is printing have a nice day with name. So let's just run this and let me say noob in my input. So it is saying noob is a noob gamer. And based on that, my if condition ran and it said I'm afraid there is nothing to be done. Let's just rerun this to check for some other input. Let's say I gave the input as average. So it's saying average is an average gamer. Have a nice day average. That's how it is uh, working with the if else condition. So we saw three simple code snippet exercise. Now we'll get back to the notebook and try and understand how we have built a simple calculator program in Python. So first of all, we have used a def to define a function call add here and then we have also defined similar functions for subtract multiply and divide so basically all these four are functions that are doing the task of addition subtraction multiplication and division we will first ask the user we'll first try and run this so we have four operations that can be possible here in the calculator program with python so let's say i gave the choice of multiplication here so it will ask me the first number let's say 34 another number 2 so it's giving me 34 multiplied by 2 which is 68 and then it is asking me would you like to do a next calculation so i would just enter no here so let's go ahead and understand this program quickly so this is where we are showcasing the user the available options for the calculation and then within the while loop, we have asked for user input. So for that, we have used the input function like we did in the code snippet exercise two. Also, we use an if condition to check for the choice that the user has made. If it is say if one for addition, two for subtraction, three for multiplication, four for division. Accordingly, we have typecasted our input into the float number and similarly another number also we have typecasted to the float type then based if uh, based on the choice if the user selects choice one then we have added if the user selects choice two then we have subtracted if the user has choice three and four respectively we have done the multiplication and division also since this is in a while loop continuous loop it will check whether you would like to do a calculation. So again, it will take input from the user. And if you say no, then only this loop will break. Else, 
if you give some other output it will give you an invalid input so that's how a simple calculator app in python is being made so in this tutorial we basically learned how you can print text to the output screen how you can take input from the user and also how you can use simple if else statements in python to build a complete calculator program so go ahead learn this interesting solution in python and also experiment with many others that are available within the kit under boolean variables functions and list hope this helps thank you so much hope you found this session useful using a candy kit is a great way to build ai prediction engines you can find the link to the basics of python kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description head over to candy to build incredible projects on ai blockchain augmented reality and many more try out our candy kits now hit the subscribe button and join us at the open weaver community of developers to learn to build many more incredible projects thank you for watching this session and until the next one bye bye